Purge. All right, how are you doing today? I'm going to talk something. I'm going to talk to you about today about getting your story out there. You got to get your story out there. And you're probably saying, who wants to hear my story? Well, I can tell you a little story about it real quick. Uh, when I was, uh, I don't know, 30 something, 30 mid, early 30s, uh, I had the same question um, from an from a publisher when I when I sent my my book synopsis in. So I wrote like 10 pages and I sent it in. And they said, oh, let's hear from this 30 something year old guy. What kind of experience do you have? And then they came and interviewed me. And they said, wow, okay, now we understand why, <laughs> why we want to, why someone would want to listen to your story. So you never know. Uh, Joseph, of course I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? And so that taught me a lesson like, you know, first of all, your story um, is interesting to certain people in your demographic or people who are interested in that, what you do or whatever. But the most important reason about sharing your story is because it gives you an articulated foundation of which you can launch. You know, when I was, um, you know, coming up through the ranks of life uh, and I'm at Lane and, you know, they're like people asking me, like, how did you, you know, get to work for Andrea Bocelli or how did you get to work for, you know, Mick Jagger or whatever? And I would just say, well, I sort of did this and that. And then it was different every time and this, that and the other. And, and Lane and I were talking and we're like, well, we should probably write this stuff down, you know, uh, and use it and for advice or something. And that's what we did. And we ended up creating a foundation that has launched us into college courses, um, certification programs, uh, more books, um, you know, advisory programs, group advisory programs, and just more and more and more. Why? Because now we have a foundation from which we're, it's, it's like going to college, but you're going to college for yourself. And I can tell you this, the stories you have in your head, the things that you remember, you remember certain things only the way you remember them. And getting your story out there is important. But in my opinion, the best way to get it out there is to do an interview style. And I don't mean just one interview. I mean, you go through and you go through your entire life or the part of your life that you want. Remember when you write a book, you have to create the characters and then you have to have the suspense. And then you have to, you know, it's sort of like a way to write a book. So people want to know who you were before this. Then they want to know what led you there. And it, it, it just these different kinds of ways and things and reasons to write a book. So um, you, you, you could get an interviewer and just do Zoom calls, right? And talk to them. And they're going to ask you questions and you're going to come up with things that you forgot. You're going to come up with things that uh, that you thought were unimportant or unspectacular where they're like, what did you say? Well, oh my God, that's amazing. Well, can you explain that even more? Hey, Rob, how you doing? Fertilize. Okay. Hey, Tim, what's up, brother? Um, uh, hey, Robin. And so you're going to come up with, that, with the things that you had forgotten that you hadn't thought about because they're going to probe you. Uh, it should be someone who doesn't know you that well. They're going to probe you for the information that you're talking about. And you're going to look at this thing after it's done. So basically, you take interviews. And for Lane and I, it took about a year of interviews, rewriting, editing. Hey, Brian Hess, what's up, brother man? Fertilize your future. There you go. <laughs> so um, there you go. We'll do the fists up there. There you go, Brian Hess. All right. So you're going to then end up having a foundation of what you can work with in the future, right? And that's something that's amazing because then you can go from there and move up. And being able to articulate your journey, being able to articulate the things that you learned in your journey and be able to give a name to it. Hey, Jillian, Hi. how are you? Oh, there's Pookie. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to sit on my lap? Hi. Here. Hey, everybody. Hi, Chinga. My little beauty. She lost her tooth last night. Show everybody your tooth. Your tooth missing. There, that, yeah. That's the, 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 what, what do you call it? Tooth fairy came. <laughs> oh, you're cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, get your story out there. Get an interview. Okay. Get an interview, <clears throat> somebody to interview who doesn't know you that well. Get it on video recording. Take that video recording, extract the audio on Zoom, which is already done automatically. <clears throat> Get it transcribed. And there you have the first foundation of a book about your life. <clears throat> and now when you look at that book, if you want to turn it into an actual book for yourself, just go get it self-printed on Amazon. It costs next to nothing. You can just print it and put it on there. If someone buys it, they do what they do. If they don't, they don't. But you have a hard copy at home to give to your family and friends and, and give it to as business gifts or, you know, Christmas gifts or whatever, like, here's my story. And if you think about it, what better gift could you give someone in your, in your life to actually tell you your life story without, um, you know, having to embellish or, or trying to figure out what you're trying to say at the right time, just say it. And that's the reason I say you should be talking to someone who, um, nailed it. Your Facebook is everything. Amen. Amen to that. Um, it's a great way. Hello, bonsoir, bonsoir, mademoiselle. Hello, Rixa von Oldenburg. How are you? Long time no see. I just feel the change in my business, in my career, 
life, revenue, relationships has exploded since we wrote this book because I know who I am more than I ever knew before. And I thought I knew who I was and I did, but not to the extent that I do now because extracting that information and, and all those details about why I did what I did, why I thought what like I thought, the brutal honesty that I have with myself in that book and the things that I talked about, I wrote about and, you know, fessed up to or whatever, that created a release in me, like a purge almost. And it really solidified who I am as a person. And now I can walk out with a presence in anywhere in life. Your story can be childhood, military, guidance, life, philosophy, current events, life, lived experience. It can be that as well. But it's your story, right? Tell your story. How do you want to tell your story? The interview will lead you. You know, you might say, yeah, I grew up in a childhood, uh, this, that, and the other. And like, well, who was your mom? You tell a story about your mom. And then you find, oh, I had forgotten about that. And then you think, wait a second. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing because she did what she did. And then you have a connection. You're like, okay, wow, how did that affect me the rest of my life? And then you go back and you're like, oh, I can see how I, why I did that. This, that. You see what I'm saying? You start uncovering things and as things start making sense. And then you can adjust and calibrate what you're doing now to, to enhance or to amplify, like we like to say, right? It's so incredible. Get your freaking message out there. And again, even if you just print it for yourself on Kindle and you get a soft copy or what do you call it, paperback, and put it on your bookshelf. Give it to gifts, give it for gifts, give it to corporate gifts. Hey, I'm a, you know, write a book about whatever it is that you do if you want to do that. If you want to tell your life story, say, say you're a salesperson for software, you, you write a book about software, whatever, salespeople or whatever, and this philosophy that you have behind it and how you handle customers, and you send potential customers a copy of your book. Imagine that. Hey, Phoenix, my 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 pleasure. You see, see you can use it for so many things. And so, oh, it's a published author. Well, you are. If you're on Amazon, right? You're a published author. Don't go for the fake, I'm a bestseller and I'm an Amazon kind of crap, right? Because it's just, it's one day, five people buy your book in an hour and you're a bestseller for about 30 seconds. Um, it's, and people make you pay for that. Don't pay for that. If you want to be, be a bestseller on Amazon, let me know and I can show you how to do it for free. And it'll, it'll, the whole conversation will be about five minutes because <laughs> that's all it takes. All right. So find an interviewer that's going to help you. Someone that you don't know that well. Someone that is interested in you. Hello, Joe. Hello from Milano. Great to meet you. Great to see you, brother. Find someone who can interview you. Sit down and be brutally honest. And I mean openly, brutally honest. Have them record it. Take the audio. Send it to rev, R-E-V, dot com. Get it transcribed. There you go. Print it out. Put it as, as a book and read it. Right? It's going to be all over the place. But you take that book, the PDF files, and you send it to an editor. That's the only place you're really going to have any costs. You send it to an editor and say, could you edit this into a book, please? And when it's edited into a book, you read it again. Now, the interviewer will read it and ask more questions. They're like, okay, here's something missing. Here's something missing. They're going to say, hey, we need something here. We need something there. And then you're going to do some more interviews to fill that in. And it'll take, it'll take a little bit. But then you're going to have your life's masterpiece to this day. Think about that for a second. Who in your family, your kids, your grandkids, your husband, your wife, your mom, your dad, who would like to read your story? I think there's a lot of people out there who would like to read your story. And, you know, I've read my book. I've listened to my book <clears throat> or our book on Audible. <clears throat> and I, I, it, it helps me recall the, the, the reasons that I do what I do and wh who, why I am who I am. And it's a powerful, powerful tool to use to create that presence and sustain that presence in life so you could crush it wherever you go. Happy Friday, Jose. All right, man. CJ Ives Lopez books interviews. Oh my, there you go. There you go. Jose, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I've been thinking about this exact thing. Tammy, do it. Do it. it you're going to be so surprised. I like to put on my life as a mechanic and mentor. Jeffrey, do it. Do it. Just get someone to interview you. Get it on video. Get to get, get the transcripts um, done on rev.com. Print them out. Send them to a, or send the PDF to an editor. Tell them to edit it into a book. Read it. Make some adjustments. Have them edit it again. And you're done. Upload it to Amazon. Order your own paperback copy, 10 of them, and off you go. You even get author prices, right? And if it sells, then you can say, hey, I'm, I'm Audible. Here you go. It's like 2500 bucks for an Audible. And then you can sell it on Audible if you want. You don't have to. But then you have your own copy of your own book. And then, Jeffrey, you have a stack of them. And every time you have a new client or something, you say, hey, here's my book. Here's my book. Here's my book. Here's my book. You sign it. People love that shit. They love it. Who, who doesn't like have – I have a whole bookshelf full of books over there. All right? This is something that really can make a difference. But most of all, it isn't for everybody else. It's for you. Most of all, this will – Rixa, you should write a book. Jesus. You know, volume one to seven or whatever. <laughs> 
This is something that's going to create a foundation, an articulate foundation of who you are. You need to know that. And I promise you, you don't know it right now. I promise you. Someone who went through what I went through, you know, ayahuasca and San Pedro for 16 years. You know, I went to, uh, to the monastery. I, you know, I meditated for, you know, weeks on end. And I thought I knew myself until I wrote this book. Now, now I know myself. Now I know myself. And that has made me, myself, and, and Lane much stronger than we were before we wrote the book. We have a foundation, a direction, a clarity, a certainty in who we are. That's, that's incredible. You can't, you can't buy that. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Awesome. True identity. Karen Hamilton. Yes, indeed. How you doing? How you doing? It's been a while. Hope you're doing fantastic. Well, I could ramble on forever, but you get the point, right? Write your book. Get it done. Our interview made me really think about how to do this. Both you and Connie ask great questions. <laughs> Tammy, all right. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Okay. I hope you're all doing fantastic and you enjoy this wonderful weekend. Let's give one up for Memorial Day for our fallen brothers and sisters. As you know, a veteran. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy who I lost uh, in my arms in Iraq, 1991, March, February, 1991, Sergeant Young M. Dillon. Um, thinking of you, brother. Everyone else have a fantastic weekend. Think of the ones that left everything, gave everything so we could have everything. All right. You have a fantastic one. And remember that one thing we always say, it's all about quality of life, quality of life because of veterans. Jeffrey, there you go. Have a great weekend. <laughs>